just updated windows and now your pc won't boot it keeps opening bios again and again and no matter what you do nothing works then don't panic you haven't lost your data and your system is not broken this is a common issue after windows update or bios resets and today i'm going to show you step by step how to fix it and bring your pc back to normal in just a few minutes First, let's quickly understand why this happens. After a major Windows update or BIOS update, your boot settings can't get reset to default. This causes the system to not detect your SSD or HDD, fail to find the Windows boot manager, get stuck in BIOS loop or say no boot device found. Sometimes after a Windows or BIOS update, the system forgets where Windows is installed. especially if bios settings reset when you are stuck in bios look for tabs like main storage or information there check if your ssd or hdd is listed if it's there awesome move on to the next step if it's missing try resetting the drive or switching its port force shut down your pc hold the power button for 10 seconds for completely shut down unplug it from power now open the back panel then carefully remove the ssd from its slot make sure you don't apply too much force Now gently clean the gold connectors of your SSD using a soft pencil eraser. It removes dust, oxidation and improves connection. This simple trick can help your BIOS detect the SSD if it's not showing up. If you are using an M.2 SSD, make sure it's seated correctly and the screw is tight. Now carefully close the back panel or case. Reconnect the power and turn your PC back on to check if the issue is resolved. I hope this step worked for you. If not, let's keep going. Boot mode determines how your BIOS talks to your drive. If it's mismatched with how Windows was installed, your PC won't boot. Go to the boot or advanced setting tab in BIOS. In the boot section, look for boot mode and try switching between UEFI and legacy. If it's on legacy, change it to UEFI. If it's on UEFI, try legacy, especially for older Windows installs. Most modern PCs running Windows 10 or Windows 11 use UEFI, not legacy. If you are unsure, try UEFI first. If UEFI doesn't work, test with legacy. Hopefully that fix it. If not, don't worry. Next we check your boot order. BIOS may try to boot from the wrong device like a network drive USB or an empty slot ignoring your windows drive go to the advanced settings go to the boot or startup tab find boot priority boot order or boot list look for something called windows boot manager or the name of your ssd or hdd use arrow keys or on screen options to move windows boot manager to the top of the list Make sure your Windows Boot Manager or SSD is selected as the first boot device. This tells your computer exactly where to boot Windows from. Now press F10 to save and exit.
If Windows Boot Manager doesn't show up, Windows Boot files might be damaged. Don't worry, we will fix that in the last step. Secure boot blocks unauthorized bootloaders. On some systems, especially custom builds or older installs, this can prevent Windows from loading. Go to the Security Boot or Authentication tab. Look for Secure Boot. Now set it to Disabled. This helps to resolve boot issues on some older or custom systems. Now press F10 to save and exit. You may need to set a BIOS admin password to access Secure Boot options. Some laptops require this. I hope your problem will be solved. Let's continue if it didn't. If previous steps don't work, some obscure settings in BIOS may be blocking the boot process. Inside BIOS, look for options like Load Setup Defaults, Restore Default Settings, Load Optimized Defaults. Select it, then confirm. After that, press F10 to save and exit. This clears any incorrect settings that may be blocking the boot. This resets all BIOS values to save factory defaults. Perfect for recovering from a corrupted config. Still no luck? Don't worry, we have one final powerful method. If your BIOS is fine but Windows is broken, a bootable USB helps you repair or reinstall it. If Windows still won't boot, your OS drive may be corrupted. Use a USB bootable drive to repair or reinstall. If you are unsure how to do this, we have already made two helpful videos you can watch. First is how to create a bootable USB. And second, how to fix broken windows from bootable USB. This can fix damaged boot files or even reinstall windows if needed. I truly hope your issue has been resolved by now. And that's it. You just save your PC from being stuck in BIOS forever. If you still facing any problem, then leave a comment. I will try my best to help. If this helped, drop a fix it in the comments. Give the video a like, share and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more powerful tech tutorial and fixes. Thank you. Thanks for watching.